Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal, and today I am making a novel video. First ever Android screen share. Um, I'm just gonna get rid of this because I'm one step ahead if I do that. And this is uh, crucial information if you're an Android fan. So as a Linux fan, it should go without saying uh, that I'm also an Android fan. And this is my current Android device. I'm actually recording this on my actual phone, not on a emulator or anything like that. Um, and, you know, one thing that you may not have in your life is a one touch pizza button, a pizza SOS button for when you need to order pizza. And these situations present themselves in, you never know when you will need to order pizza. So you can see my home screen. So this is, this is an app called Apex and it's really good. And it's just a uh, replacement for the stock launcher in Android. So instead of the stock, so I've, I, this, this is my home screen in Android and you can see I've, tr I've tricked some settings out. I've turned off text. Um, I just have icons and I have all my key apps here like Reddit and YouTube, SoundCloud for remixes, Google Maps for finding my way around the world, etc, etc, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've added my local pizza store and the first step in this important process is adding a one touch dialing app for the pizza store. So this, this if you have Google contacts in addition to stock contacts for Android, you'll have two. So these guys um, in the middle here are Google contacts and this is stock contacts. So I'm going to go for the stock widget and um, excuse these all in Hebrew. And I'm going to just go for um, the pizza store, PI. Uh, pizza Yerushalayim, that says Jerusalem pizza in English. And then I'm going to go, so you, you have, you can choose the shortcut. I'm going to go for the direct dial shortcut, which will call the pizza store in Jerusalem that I order from uh, frequently and click OK. And now it's added a widget. So I'm just going to go and it's, it's being put here for some reason. So I'm just going to go and move him back. And the next step is like that, this, 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 this is your pizza SOS button, but why do a job halfway? I say, so you would want really a pizza icon on this. And because apex uh, lets you put custom icons on, uh, you can, there's no reason not to do this. So I've just called up a pizza icon and go, I've gone for download image and save the image. It took me a while to find a pizza icon without pepperoni as a Jewish uh, kosher keeper, I don't eat pepperoni. So here's my icon. And what I can do here is I can actually change the icon. So click on edit. So this again is Apex, A-P-E-X. It's really good. I really like it. Um, and I click on change icon and then I can go for select picture. And then I can replace that default icon with my pizza icon and save. And now watch the magic unfold. So I'm browsing the internet and I'm like, you know what? I need pizza and, but I'm lazy because typically when one orders pizza, one is feeling lazy. So I don't want the hassle of um, Googling or even going into my contacts. So I just go literally, boom, watch this. One, one click pizza being ordered. I'm just called the pizza shop. Thanks for watching my first uh, ever Android tutorial on the important subject of uh, creating a one click shortcut for ordering pizza. I hope this was uh, of interest and uh, check out the rest of the videos on my YouTube channel. I've no idea what I've gone into being here or something. Um, more videos, more Android vids on the way. I'm more, I'm definitely more of a Linux guy, more, I'm much more of a desktop guy, but uh, there will be some more Android videos coming about things you can do with your phone. Until next time.